Every year, uh, there's a Best of Panama competition, which is the Academy Awards of coffee. And there are about 50 lots that are auctioned off, and the Best of Panama uh, gets to auction off 100 pounds. Um, and there's uh, usually a clearing price on the best coffee. And last year, it cleared at $601 a pound, and this year, it cleared at $803 a pound. And we were allocated 10 pounds of, for all of North America. We uh, brewed five pounds down in LA, and that's the equivalent of about 40 to 50 cups. And we're doing 40 to 50 cups up here, total. So it's similar to wine, where 40 years ago, people drank Gallo or Almaden, and now they're you know, talking about different uh, winemakers and different vineyards. So you know, it might be connoisseurs, but you know, anybody can enjoy great coffee. It does taste different. It's so interesting. When I first looked at it, I thought it would be hyper pretentious and I would think about all the different notes for the coffee, but I was just too busy enjoying it. Would you pay $79 a cup? I probably would. Would you yeah, really? I would definitely pay. Yeah. <laughs> My mind was a little bit blown about the fact that a $75 cup of coffee even exists, but it was shockingly good. It tasted very different from any coffee I've ever tasted. It's almost like a fine scotch. It was just so smooth and I just want to just savor it.